Welcome back to 20CS TV News. I'm Haley Rogers with the latest events happening in Cortland County. This past week, our news team covered the annual Crop Walk event where students and community members come together to raise awareness for the hungry. I'm Brooke Wilson with 20CS TV in downtown Cortland covering this year's Crop Walk to End Hunger. SUNY Cortland students and community members alike gathered together this past Sunday to end hunger one step at a time. The Crop Hunger Walk is an event that Cortland community hosts each year to raise money for surrounding food pantries to feed those in need. Participants started at the Grace and Holy Spirit Church where the event directors announced how this year's Crop Walk surpassed its donation goals. After applauding the efforts of everyone involved, students and community members took to the streets to begin their three-mile walk around downtown Cortland. Jim Miller, a history professor at SUNY Cortland and the campus coordinator for the Crop Walk, was extremely proud of the turnout and efforts made for the event this year. Absolutely terrific, and I think it, it says a lot about the SUNY Cortland students who are giving back to the community. According to the Crop Hunger Walk website, about 1,300 walks take place around the U.S. each year, all of which are possible thanks to the Church World Service. Well, there you have it. I'm Brooke Wilson from 20CS TV. Tune in next week to see more events going on on campus. Like past years, the Cortland community saw a great turnout from local students accounting for over more than 80% of the local walkers. Our news team also participated in the annual Take Back the Night Walk hosted by SAFER, Students Active for Ending Rape. Last Tuesday, students gathered on the steps of Core Union for SUNY Cortland's annual Take Back the Night Rally. The Take Back the Night Foundation seeks to create safe environments and communities through sexual assault and domestic violence awareness. This year's rally was hosted by the club SAFER, Students Active for Ending Rape, whose president, senior Erica Daly, opened up the ceremony with a few words. After speaking to the crowd, President Bitterbaum shared with us his thoughts on sexual assault and what needs to be done to prevent it. When I came here 13 years ago, as a nation, we were not aware of the statistics and how horrifying it was that one in five women and one in 16 men could be sexually assaulted while in college. That's terrible. And tonight, this is, as they say, Take Back the Night as a vigil, where people come together and we heard some of the speeches, and we're now walking to raise consciousness among our community that the worst word in the English language, the word rape, should not really happen on our campus. It's going to take a lot of work, a lot of diligence, but I'm really proud of what this student organization does and everyone who's come to join them tonight. Finally, students took to the streets carrying a banner signed by all the supporters of Take Back the Night and chanting against rape and domestic violence for the whole community to hear. Students marched around the campus and downtown areas raising awareness regarding sexual assault on college campuses with the hope to empower women. Sadly enough, hours after the walk, a rape was reported in the early morning hours of Wednesday, October 7th. Police are still trying to identify the man who raped a SUNY Cortland student and fled on the scene after the attack. The incident took place on the corner of Groton and Graham Avenue. Anyone with information on the attack is encouraged to call Cortland City Police at 607-753-3001, extension number 323. That's all for your 20 CS TV news this week. I hope everyone has a safe fall break. I'm Haley Rogers here with 20 CSTV News.